Welcome to Hellscape's tutorial on spline modeling. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to spline modeling base. Okay, as you can see, I already created a face with the spline. Basically, you just go through and create it, and every time you click, it creates a vertice. So say, and then when you're done, you just go in and close the spline. Okay, so after you spline model your model with as many vertices you want, you select it and convert it to an editable poly. Then you select the face. You extrude it up a little bit. To make the floor, and then you go to your move tool with the face selector, you hold the shift down, and you move it down here to where you can like see the little red line. You hit OK to clone the element, you flip it, and you go into vertex selection mode. While in vertex selection mode, you go to your top viewport and make sure you select the vertices that make up the bottom. So the bottom of the face we extruded in the bottom of this other face that we created, that we cloned the element. And you want to go to weld and you want to turn it to about 10 and hit apply. Hit weld it now you don't want to run STL check on it to make sure it is sealed Make sure it's everything, select faces, you hit check. As we scroll down, we'll see no errors. You unclick check and then you go back into the edible pocket. Okay, so there's our floor. You want to hit inset and drag the inset down to basically make the walls. I'm going to strike the F4 key to enable wireframe mode with with texture showing. Then it you get to see where all your faces are. Make sure you're in just regular select so you don't like screws up. And just select all of the faces that are around it. If that happens, just hold the Alt key and click the middle space. And if you click and it selects something else, you want to hit Control Z to make sure you unclick, select that, and and see if you got the bottom. Just you got to hit the Alt again, and then we're gonna extrude the walls up. And then you want to extrude up again to make the ceiling. And that's part one of spline modeling tutorial.